Hey guys, let's get more news about Dallas, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. Dak Prescott sends five-word message to Cowboys on contract. Dak Prescott isn't concerned about money when it comes to his contract situation. While speaking to reporters on Wednesday, May 22, the Dallas Cowboys quarterback sent a simple message, he doesn't play for money. Prescott is on the verge of entering the final year of his current deal. Via John Machoda of The Athletic, I know my business will take care of itself, says Prescott. Just controlling what I can control. I don't play for money. I'll leave that to the business people to say what it's worth, what they're supposed to give a quarterback of my play. It's about controlling what I can control. Handle that part and everything else will take care of itself. The 30-year-old quarterback is coming off of the best season of his career, leading the league in touchdown passes, 36, in addition to pass completions, 410. Due to Prescott's stellar play, he finished as the runner-up in MVP voting. While there's little doubt that Prescott is one of the top quarterbacks in the league, his lack of postseason success is a concern. Prescott is 2-5 in the playoffs, and he's coming off of a disastrous postseason loss to the seventh-seeded Green Bay Packers at home. Prescott's comments line up with the message that he has sent to the team this offseason, he's not concerned about contract talks. It also helps matters that if Prescott does enter free agency next offseason, he'll likely be the top quarterback on the market and earn his money regardless. Kirk Cousins, a statistically similar quarterback with a lack of playoff success, just signed a four-year, $180 million deal with the Atlanta Falcons. Cousins won to three in the playoffs during his career and is a 35-year-old coming off of a season-ending Achilles tear. Although contract talks have yet to seriously progress, the Cowboys continue to say the right things when it pertains to Prescott's future with the team. Cowboys executive vice president Stephen Jones was vocal in saying that he believes the veteran quarterback can lead Dallas to a championship. Via Mad Dog Sports Radio, absolutely. I mean, I totally think Dak can lead us to a championship, Jones said on May 6. He does everything the right way. He's certainly the leader of this football team. He keeps everybody motivated in the offseason. He's got everybody working out and doing all the things that it takes to put in the work to give yourself every opportunity to win a championship. Despite the lack of postseason success, Jones made sure to mention that Prescott has led the Cowboys to three consecutive 12-win seasons. That's actually the second most regular season win since 2021, only behind the Kansas City Chiefs, who have won two Super Bowls in that time frame. It just so happens that sometimes, you know, that old oblong football doesn't bounce your way, said Jones in the same interview. And we've had some tough breaks and tough games there in the postseason. But, you know, we've won 12 games three years in a row. I think that's right at the top in terms of what teams have done over a three-year period. And, you know, we're hanging around the rim. We've just got to go up there and grab it, to use a basketball term, and dunk it in. We're hanging around the rim. We just gotta get the job done. We'll see if the Cowboys can get a deal done with Prescott before the season starts. However, it's clear that Prescott is ready to move on if a deal doesn't come together. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott has interesting take on contract talks. Dallas Cowboys quarterback Dak Prescott is about to enter a contract year. Months of speculation about a new deal for the reigning NFL MVP runner-up has given in to the real belief that he'll hit free agency next March. Prescott, 30, is currently playing under a four-year, $160 million contract. His $40 million per year pay ranks 13th among quarterbacks in the league right now. The prevailing thought after Dallas' ugly exit at the hands of the Green Bay Packers in the NFC Wild Card playoffs was that Prescott would become the highest-paid player in the NFL this offseason. Obviously, that has yet to happen. Despite the Cowboys' postseason struggles under Prescott, he continues to play at a high level. 
This past season saw the former fourth-round pick from Mississippi State complete 70% of his passes for 4,516 yards with a league-leading 36 touchdown passes. It played a role in Dallas finishing with the number one scoring offense at nearly 30 points per game. Taking part in OTAs this week, Prescott spoke to media in Dallas. His take on contract talks with the Cowboys is rather interesting. If it is to be believed, it's also refreshing. I don't play for money, Dak Prescott said, via the team's official website. I have never cared for it, to be honest with you. Yeah, I would give it up just to play this game. We're not 100% sure what to make of this. Is Prescott saying he's willing to give the Cowboys a hometown discount? It could loom large with stars such as Micah Parsons and C.D. Lamb set for lucrative long-term contracts this offseason, too. I allow that to the business people to say what it's worth, what they're supposed to give a quarterback of my play, a person of my play and a leader of my, caliber, Prescott continued. For me, it's about controlling what I can control and handling that part, and the rest will take care of itself. Prescott boasts a no-franchise tag clause in his contract. He seems to have the advantage in contract talks with the Cowboys. Whether that will lead to something coming to fruition ahead of Week 1 against the Cleveland Browns remains to be seen. New York Jets send Mike Williams to Cowboys in ridiculous trade proposal. You know you're deep in the depths of the NFL offseason when you start to see nonsensical trade proposals like the one we're about to discuss. Just as a quick disclaimer, no, the New York Jets should not and will not trade Mike Williams. The Jets signed Williams to a one-year contract worth up to $10 million this offseason with the hopes that he could provide Aaron Rodgers with another much-needed weapon. The expectation is that Williams, who is recovering from a torn ACL, will be ready to go for the start of the season. He isn't expected to step foot onto the practice field until sometime during training camp, but if you ask Bleacher Report's Joe Tanzi, he may never actually put on a Jets uniform. Tanzi recently proposed three shocking trade ideas for the Jets this offseason, and one of those ideas involved the Jets sending Williams to the Dallas Cowboys in exchange for a 2025 third-round pick. Why would the Jets do this exactly? That part remains unclear. It's easy to see why the Cowboys would be interested. Williams has a pair of 1,000-yard seasons under his belt and, when healthy, is still one of the better wide receivers in the NFL. Dallas could use another wide receiver to pair with C.D. Lamb and Brandon Cooks. The issue is the Jets have no reason to consider a trade. The Jets are looking to compete for a Super Bowl in 2024, which makes it nonsensical to propose trading away a key piece of their offense for future draft capital to build for the post rogers era, as Tansy suggests. Williams hasn't even had the opportunity to step foot onto a Jets practice field yet. Why on earth would they trade a player who is expected to be an integral part of the team's receiving core for a future draft pick? Tansy insists that Williams could become expendable if rookie Malachi Corley or other young receivers develop, but there are multiple problems with that assertion. For starters, Corley and Williams don't even play the same position. While Williams is expected to be the Jets' starting X receiver, Corley projects as more of a slot target in the NFL. Corley is not a replacement for Williams, nor is someone like Xavier Gibson. If the Jets were to trade Williams, they'd realistically be relying on players like Alan Lazard, who was statistically the worst wide receiver in football last season, or Jason Brownlee to take his place in the starting lineup. That's not exactly a wise strategy for a contending team. Tansy's assertion that the Mike Williams era in New York may not last long is entirely nonsensical and void of any factual basis. In short, it doesn't make any sense. The Jets aren't going to trade Mike Williams. Chalk this proposal up as a needless offseason talking point. And you fan? What do you think of the situation of Mike Williams? Leave your opinion in the comments.